Today we see in, in the, the emergence of uh, technology where we need to move a lot of uh, a lot of data between between servers and in systems. So that's the emergence of cloud. And to that respect, integrated photonics is becoming the technology of choice for to to fulfill the step. And uh, we believe that the uh, the development of new materials will apply will allow silicon photonics to perform to perform new functions. So the EU projects we are working on deals with the development of ferroelectrics to be integrated with silicon photonics. So we develop the materials, we develop the uh, integration techniques to, uh, to uh, be integrated with uh, silicon photonics technology and the, demon the demonstration of uh, complete uh, circuits based on these new materials. Major four steps that we um, try to solve is first the integration of these new materials onto silicon. Therefore, we use new technologies or advanced technologies um, where we try to deposit high crystalline materials with new um, optical properties on silicon. And in the second step, we try to characterize these materials on their basic functionalities. Something like, how is their nonlinear properties on silicon? How are their ferroelectric properties? How is their electrical behavior? And therefore, we use setups where we have the pure material on silicon. In a third step, we try to design um, new circuits where we can embed these materials into real silicon photonic structures such as ring resonators or modulators and we try to fabricate these materials in our clean room laboratory that we have here at ZRL. And finally, that as a last step, we take these fabricated structures with the novel materials inside and characterize them with our fiber optical setups where you can insert light into the devices, apply electrical signals, and see how the real structures behave.